I think we're back this time. Yes, finally. Wow. I have no idea what's going on, but all of my ports are all jacked up. So, uh, we can check this off. Perfect. Fantastic. Peachy. Let's keep going. <laughs> maybe, maybe a little bit more. Oop, that was a little loud. Maybe, maybe just me on my end, but who knows? Could be cool. Oop, wrong ones. There we go. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, where are we going? We're going back to... Ah, the cafe. Lead the way. Floor one. Hooray. Okay, dungeon stuff. Um... I don't know what to expect, so we will go unprepared. How about that? Sounds good to me. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Calm. Inner calm. Inner calm. Oh. Oh. We can do this. We can do this. We can have a, a successful stream. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. I believe! I believe we can do something. <laughs> Maybe. I didn't want to talk about it. I didn't want to talk about it. Righteous water. Dun 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 between the two, I, I'm not even sure what I'm really doing half the time, if that wasn't apparent already. But it's cool. I make this look good. I do. Uh, plant. Yes. Anticus. Chase my out. A level 12 snap trap after fighting 22s and 20s and 16s, this story is about a level 12 that's causing problems. Let's, let's up the difficulty a little bit now, huh? Hmm? I think I would like a little more difficulty in this. Flame Surge. Learn it. I thought he was already maxed out on skills. Oh well. Uh, into the boss. Okay, so... Okay, so... Oh. What? Um, okay. I don't like that thing. That thing scares me a lot. Okay, that was good damage. Oh, he's gonna have doom. He's gonna have chaos. Yeah, or whatever it's called. Kill it. Doomed. He's going to die very quickly. And pulling him back is not going to fix it. That thing is sweet looking. When do I get one? Seriously. Okay, see, that was a oh, that was really loud, sorry. That was a really cool moment where Finally, something was thrown at me that was completely unexpected, and it makes me go, what the heck is going on? And it makes me more excited about the story. Because we've already had the toxin and the, the Solari and Lunari kind of moving in ways that we hadn't expected before, but exactly, Kumail, what the heck was that thing? Uh, I've seen plenty of Lunari, but that was messed up. I'm kidding, I'm trying, have you ever seen anything like that before? I'm not sure, I was so frightened. Maybe you should ask Guildmaster Laskin. Yes, let's. I still want one. Really? 
So we wound up not collecting any flowers and instead ran into a Lunari that seemed, well, evil. Do not worry yourselves. There are many powerful Lunari in Kamishi Woods and some you use unfamiliar skills, but they are not evil. Okay, I'm, oh, I'm with you in the evil is an abstract concept created by people to simplify the world sense, but if evil was real, that is what that thing would have been. I will pursue further information. Meanwhile, Elder Pawalan I chose some really weird names. I'm just saying. Requires a shrubble. The leaves that sh they shed are ingredients in her healing crystals. What's so wrong about you're freaked out by using petals and crystals, but that last thing, you're just like, meh, not so bad. That makes no sense. Why do I have to oh. go shopping? Poison spirit on target enemy applies toxin. <laughs> Chance applies dizzy. Nice. That's pretty quick too. Rubble drop. Chance applies stun. Eh. Eh. Hmm. So what's the... Guess I have... That's interesting. Okay, well. Oh, I wonder if it's that's where I have to take it. Okay. I wasn't really paying too much attention. Well, let's see. Uh, at the shop. Yeah, there it is. Trouble, gum to me. This is powerful. Oh, tab pedal. <laughs> Theodore Roosevelt Jr. just followed. We have summoned another minion. Recalls the army grows greater. Thank you so much for the follow, and hopefully, you're enjoying the stream. I think if you just joined and you just followed, you've missed all of our technical difficulties for enough of a lifetime. So, yes, it is very entertaining. Um, I had my reservations about it as a mobile game coming over to Steam, um, but it's it's a lot of fun. Um, not too hung up on some of the. Um, efforts that they did to really make it a mobile game. Um, it's not blocking me from having fun. I have enough side things to do. And the creatures, you know, the Solari, Lunari, um, are actually a lot of fun. It's no different. Uh, I know who it is. I figured it was the same guy. Uh, so, good to know. Thanks for following anyways. You know, you're just kind of doing like the friend thing. But, you know, all the support I can take. You don't have to follow. You don't want to. I understand. But uh, no, the PC version is the exact same game. Um, eventually, they do plan on linking the two worlds with um, the mobile iOS and Android worlds to the same PC Steam version. Yeah. Okay. I gotta pause for one second. I'll be right back.
All right, so at the end of the match, what is the reward? It looks like you cap stuff. So right now, I am doing, I'm battling wild Lunari, these kind of corrupted by the Moonrise event, um, kind of Pokemon-like things. Um, when you battle wild ones, you get essences. And in this case, I got a Warden Key. The keys you actually use to capture the, the wild Solari um, that you're, you're cleansing. As a Warden, your job is to cleanse um, these creatures um, of the corruption. So right now, as I'm battling wild Solari, I'm getting essences. And you use essences to actually uh, level up um, your Solari. So after this fight, I can show you what that looks like. Right now, I'm on a quest to tame a uh, shrubble for a local uh, shopkeeper. What you can't see are my hands. Um, the, the keys aren't really rare. Or they're, they're rare rewards in that, that you don't get them dropped very often. But it's the it's a measure mechanic where the keys regenerate over time, so it's not like you'll go a long time without one or having one. You'll pretty much constantly have a two-hour cooldown so that you gain one every two hours. Um, so I can show you the is the circle next to their next to monsters. Uh, you can see the level on the left hand side, so you can see their element, what they are, um, and their level there. The circle next to mom's their level. Uh, yeah, that number on the left hand side is the number. So, um, game. Okay, I'll turn it down. I did turn it down, so I must have really been drowning myself out. Alright, how's that? Is that better? Uh, so it's element plus level. Yep, that's it. So here are the here are two of the five essences you can get. You can get resist, spirit, strength. Um, I'm blanking on the other one. Speed and like defense. I forget what it's actually called. I think it's called something else. Um, so we'll just go into my. So armor, strength, armor, spirit, resist, speed. Um, and these are the essences that you get, and each one takes up your progress so far in getting to the next level so if you really want you could if you have the money to blow and um you capture a level one you can totally dump it all the way up to its max level without ever actually having to use it in combat using it in combat um uh, against either you saw at the end each of the solari were of my solari were getting experience well, that experience feeds into the milestones and you have to use them in combat and get them experience so that they can get up to their evolution marker so it at least tells you how far they have to go until they evolve so each one of these ticks is a level or is a milestone progression uh, if it's not indicated it's more health so we have the next one is health or that's that was the latest one that they got was more health next one should be a new skill and then health, health, skill, health, health, skill, three more health, skill, and then evolution at the end. So it's nice that you can see the progression that that Solari is going to go through. And so my small fry is pretty close. He just got a new skill, so he'll get new health, more health this next time, and then he'll be ready to evolve. Um, I'll be able to see what it takes. Yeah, the UI is really done really well. Um, nice and easy and the the port from mobile to um, PC has been very clean the um, the hotkeys that they uh, introduced were a little wonky to get used to because I just wasn't used to their key bindings but they make total sense and I would I would say that they're fun I would uh, da, 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 let's compare skills root grab Virulent, virulent, bolt. That's a favorite of mine. Um, sapping strand, slow. Okay, and more infection. I like it. I like it. Uh, what do we got here? Viral bolt, sapping strand, regeneration, and spore charge. I'll stick with my higher level one, and I'll release. This one releasing solari you actually get rewards so 
gold, more essences, and dusts are used uh, for evolving. So you can get quite a bit of stuff from constantly catching and releasing. Um, three stars are the higher quality. The stars actually matter in that they actually get better stats, but then they also get more reward, um, more ex bonus experience at the end of a fight. Um, so we're still on the path to try and find a trouble. There were plenty before I needed this quest, so it's kind of annoying right now. Ah, two of them. Perfect. Uh, yep. And my, my snap coil is pretty OP, so he's still kind of tearing through stuff right now. These are only level 16 guys, so it's not... Uh, it's got a shop. Uh, it's kind of what you would expect. Experience boost, gold boost. Um, it's free to play. It's free to play. They have a shop. Uh, pretty much what you would expect. Uh, here, I can show that to you real quick. Uh, so, gems are the premium currency. You use, and they actually reward those in games after you've done so many... Uh, daily logins in a row, uh, not so much in a row, but uh, daily, daily logins in a month, um, then um, for doing then you have a chance of getting a chest that actually rewards um, crystal or crystals too. Um, let's see. So they have beginner's package. Actually. Close. Nope. No steam. Stop it. Well, this is different. I think I found a bug. <laughs> Hold on. Let me restart. <laughs> Whoops. I didn't mean it. I promise. So, one-time package, more gems, a Solari token. What? And you get a new Solari. Uh, level one of an evolved. Oh, I got a couple of mines, so you get. Anna. You get two anyway. Starter, you get in tickets are also regenerate on. You can see the key cooldown, you can see. VP cooldown. Free to play. Yeah. Breaking things already. Yep, it's a beta. Definitely a beta. And I I just needed a one star. Here's
test, 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 testing, test, test. Hooray, I'm back. I have no idea what's going on. My computer has a mind of its own. I haven't done this dungeon before, yada, yada, yada. I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm going to change out this level one guy for another fire. Thank you so much, Theodore, for putting up with this. This is cabbage, and I know it. Uh, so, appreciate it. Actually, back. I plug and unplug and plug and unplug and it works. Bizarre. Something's going on. Um, does your power character get any powers or abilities as you level? Uh, not as you level, but um, you're, you level up and your stats uh, go up. So you have the same stats as your Solari. So they go up, your health goes up, um, but you also get different equipment. So there's... Uh, major and minor runes um there's a couple of like pieces of equipment like jewelry that kind of stuff and they'll be tailored to specific um stats they might even have both uh, damage boosts or damage reduction boosts for um the different uh, elements but then also they might have like a chance of cleansing you of any conditions that kind of stuff yes the solari can attack you yes 
Um, so it's kind of like Magic the Gathering in that case of you can attack the creatures or you can attack the warden in the back. Um, you have to have um, either one of the Solari out for you to get to the soul to the warden, um, or actually you have to have if they're both be, if one is being summoned, you can attack the warden. Um, but if there's one out and they're not being summoned, then you can't get to the warden. Sorry, I have that backwards. If they're summoned, you can't get to the warden. If no one's being summoned, you can. Um, but it's it's a case of where only specific abilities can reach the back when there's Solari out. There is PvP. Uh, you can do PvP with out in the kind of PvE world. Um, where you battle with the group that you have right now. Like, I would be battling with my six guys um, if I chose to do it out in the, out in the world, as we'll call it. Um, but then... Um, guard ally, that's not going to do any good, buddy. Um, but then I showed there was another uh, ticket at the top. Um, you get one a day, and it's basically arena pvp from hearthstone you get a random group random equipment for your warden and go see if you can get to 10 wins you have three lives and i have a video on youtube of me doing 10 wins in a row which that was rough that was really rough <laughs> So each of the rooms have a puzzle piece and you collect the puzzle pieces and they unlock the door. Thing is, I can go straight to the boss if I really, really wanted to, but the reward chest won't get any bigger. The more rooms you clear out, the better your reward at the end. So I definitely try and clear all the rooms before uh, going for the boss. That can be a little tough. The other nice thing is, as long as they're alive, um, everyone on the bench, even if they didn't actually participate in, in the fight, actually gets experience. So I've made that mistake and I didn't revive them earlier, even if I didn't have the intention of using them. So grass and craghorn, normal and grass. I think we're okay still sticking up with these two. And it's nice that they tell you the affinity matchup that your move has. So when you see the up arrows, it means it's going to be really effective. If you see the down arrows, it means it's not going to be effective. And if there's no arrows, it's not a weakness or a strength. So Again, taking out a lot of that guesswork that you would have to put them on. And at least when you were first playing. So just saying it, I got about 10 more minutes and I'm going to call it um, long day, very long day. Uh, Alright, so here's the boss and they can have special circumstances or special Solari that you wouldn't normally expect. Um, and they don't tell you the level, so that's, that's not good. Healthy, what is this healthy? Bonus that I'm doing. 
Doesn't matter, we're just gonna push him out. Boom. Here out on them. Get that front left trouble. Rooted. Not too worried. Stone shield in front of them is reducing all of the abilities that are strength uh, based. So you get information about the move even while you're in combat. Again, treating it nicer than what Pokemon gives you. Uh, and two stars. Not interested in one stars either. Garbage. Small fry. I think he's ready to evolve, which. Yay! But at the same time, boo, I have to spin my dust on them. So, money, evolution, evolution, uh, warden equipment, so the chain, the amulet, and creek jumpers. So you can change your warden style and everything. That's pretty cool too. I've already gone through a variety of dyes and uh, clothing options. So here are all the here's all the worn gear. So you have major relics, minor relics. Um, these are unique gear, defensive gear, and offensive gear. So you get these as you level. They have different levels to them, and you can get them at different rewards. This one was like a super rare reward um, from one of the earlier dungeons, but it's still really good. So gain petrified before taking a lot of damage. Water ward take less damage from water, more resistance, and more health. Pretty good. Um, you can get different hairstyles, you can get different pieces of equipment, and even if they're the same thing, so I think I have two, yeah, I have two creek jumpers, but they have different default dyes to them. So I don't like my brown and green ones, so I'll sell that because I have to manage my inventory. And now I have brown ones, or yellow ones if I want to keep them, and then dyes. I did. I deleted one. I sold one. Don't tell me I didn't. Bummer. Mm. Really wanna get, I don't really want to get rid of anything. I guess I can get rid of the fitted jeans. Oh, I didn't sell it. That's why. Huh. So now you can see my dungeon tickets are on about a two hour cooldown. Um, you have a max of three. Um, but if you find it, you can get these as drops, just like you can get warden uh, keys as a drop. I actually had 11 keys at one point, and I had four tickets too. Um, so that was kind of fun. So now, because my quest would be to evolve a small fry, there's there'd be a little bit of grinding involved of doing dungeons. Um, which, all in all, not too bad. I'm getting money, um, money and um, essences are the primary way of leveling up your um, your Solari. So, um, what's kind of cool is that I can start focusing a stat, and it only it only goes up. Maybe it won't, maybe it doesn't go up one stat every time you press the button. But most of the time when you're incrementing, it goes up one. But then when you hit the level, all the stats go up. But that Solari's primary stat is the one that's still going to see the biggest bonus from leveling up. But one thing I've been doing, so this Total Rock, his defense, is or his armor is clearly the top stat for him. But I've been boosting the crap out of his resistance because it's not normally one of his high stats. I've gotten it in league with what I would call his tier 2 stats. He's really well rounded for defense and being on that front line and sucking stuff up. So if I can keep this up, now that his stats are kind of in line with what I think is pretty stellar, honestly, 
I'm focusing on speed. Rocks are not supposed to be fast. They're not. It's not how this game works. But I'm making a fast rock. So now he's ready to evolve. Once I get 50 of these things. But wait, if I want to continue the story, I have to evolve this, uh, the, the fly first. Which is another 30? 40? Uh, another 16. So that's not so bad. Or I can make him a uh, scuttlebug. But I'm going to keep him as a, as a fire type. So it will be a blister bug. The customization is pretty deep. It's pr it's pretty good. I mean, you don't find a game this quality on tablet or on mobile. You just don't. It's it's just not there. Now, you come and the thing that's kind of blowing my mind and the thing that I'm really excited about is the fact that if they really can merge Steam player base with Android and iOS uh bases, and I can access my account on any of those three devices at the same time. I could be playing this game at any point in time during the day. I can log in and do one thing on the bus. Ten minutes in. I can be battling. I can be grinding something out. I can do a dungeon. And I've actually been disconnected in the middle of a dungeon. And I logged in like a couple of hours later. And I was still in that dungeon. So it kept my place even though... A dungeon is something that like you have to do before you leave like I no longer have like the wow dungeon mentality of like I'm here for three hours and I have to do this even 30 minutes in this case would be too long because it is a mobile game but they've gotten that network side and that infrastructure side down so well I can pick it up and play any piece of content at any point in time if I start doing my PvP until I lose my three lives, I pick up the same go. Pick up the same go. That's awesome. Oh, I forgot about unranked mode. So this is basically, you take your group in, and you don't have to wait around to see people around here. Because this isn't a private instance out here. You'll see other players wandering around. It might be a private channel, kind of like how MapleStory or some of those other uh, like Korean MMOs do it. But and I might only see a few people, but I'm still seeing other people. I can click on them and challenge them to PvP right here. I can add them to my friends list. Um, yeah. So that's pretty sweet. It, they do a lot of things right, and I'm really happy. With, oh, speaking of another player, there's one. Um, but this is going to be my sign-off. Thanks for joining me, Theodore. I will catch you later. Um, tell your friends. I'll have this video and my last streams up on YouTube probably tomorrow. Uh, yeah, take it easy. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, sorry for the te technical difficulties, and we'll smooth it out. We'll get it going. Have a good night. Button over here. Done.